Rebecca Collette is tracking the flooding in downtown Charleston. Right now, she is standing by in the Crosstown, an area that has faced decades of flooding. Rebecca, how are the conditions there and what's being done to fix them? Sophia, well, it is still rainy, um, but the big issue is the traffic right now. And even though we're well past the rush hour time, we're still seeing a ton of traffic. Let me step out and just show you. The reason why is because one of the lanes of 17 heading toward West Ashley through the crosstown is shut down. It's just too flooded for folks to get through here, uh, but there are City of Charleston police officers directing traffic around this area. A lot of people have been talking to us about the flood mitigation plan the city has. The city is in stage three of five to mitigate this flooding, but it's the fourth stage, the one we're about to enter into, when drivers and residents here will feel some relief. As you can see, it's just really bad right now. Here's the deal, though. The project is $30 million short and about four years behind schedule. And the two key issues that we've learned is that the scope of the project has grown and this project was budgeted about 10 years ago. So the city is working on getting this project on track, both financially and in, the time, in a timely manner. But here's the deal. The best advice is to avoid the city of Charleston right now with a lot of road closures as long as you can because, of course, the tide situation is not going to help this traffic problem and flooding. Live downtown in the Crosstown, I'm Rebecca Collette. Count on two.